wasn't going to do it, but I did it. Welcome to Ephemera Files by Tommy. And I had put myself on a spendla, spend less, spend less September. And that meant that I wasn't going to just not spend anything because I have discovered over the past few Septembers that that is hard. That really doesn't, except for 2020, it was pretty easy. But I have trouble with don't do anything, nothing. It's like you just have to give yourself a little bit of grace and a little bit of wiggle room. And so I had to go to Hobby Lobby the other day to find to look for something, which they didn't have. But I thought, well, since I'm in here and I keep seeing all these things on YouTube and on Facebook and on Instagram about Hobby Lobby's got all this stuff clearancing. I thought I'd check it out. I figured I wouldn't find much because I rarely do. It seems like I get there after everybody's picked over all of the stuff. Not this time. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff. And so I'm going to share with you the things that I found and maybe some of the plans that I have for some of it. So here we go. I got these and they were in the jewelry section and they were probably all three meant to make earrings. But I am going to use them for tassel charms and little dangles and such. A friend of mine is going to get one of these sent to her because I am getting ready to send her a challenge. And I will explain that in a future video. But aren't those pretty? And these were $1.24 and 99 cents and $1.49. So I was pretty happy with that. And I just realized I was wrong. I did find what I was looking for. I went in there for fun foam and I got a sheet of fun foam, but it wasn't on sale. I did get for 99 cents this stencil that is old English lowercase letters and numbers. And I just thought that was really cool. It's got the umlaut even for the A and you could use that over the U as well. I think that that's where that goes. I'm not sure what this is at all but it looks interesting so i thought that was fun for 99 cents next up this may seem a little odd to some people but let me explain myself they had all these iron on glittery letters for 19 cents but i don't know anybody whose name starts with an x i know very few that start with a w last names yes that would wear something with that on it no i think that's an n I have a Y and I will look for these and for other letters and I look at all of them because what I do is I turn them sideways and upside down and see if it resembles anything else. To me, this just looks like a swirl and I think I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a W. It could be an M, but you can use this as an accent, say on a journal card or whatever just to be a swirl at the bottom or at the top or on a page you can collage through it and i just think that they're really cool so turn some things around even the y when you do something else with it like this turn it this way and then put some stuff up here and maybe some stuff down here it doesn't look like a y anymore along with x's and z's work if you find z's all different kinds of letters and i have found block case eyes that when you put them together the crossbars at the top the vertical bars this way and then the crossbars at the bottom and you've got a nice little frame and those were 19 cents a piece and they they will definitely get used i will make sure and show you sometime how it gets used i got a few other iron-ons as well because you can use iron-ons on journals. I have ironed them onto paper and it does just fine. And these will be good for summertime journals next, next year. And I got some snowflake iron-ons for 99 cents. These were 19 cents. Um, if I had waited a little longer, these might have gone down, but I don't go to Hobby Lobby that much anymore because I spend too much. And then these gold bird outlines I thought were so cool. And they were 99 cents. They are iron-ons as well. I got a few 
odds and ends here. I got some beading needles for $1.75, and normally that's $7, so that was a really good deal. I got round epoxy stickers, and I love to use these, and I have an idea that I think I'm going to use on Tag Tuesday next week, so watch for that. These are metal stickers, and I have a whole bunch of coffee journals that I'm getting ready to make that some of these will be perfect in. Got a couple of floral things. This is a vine garland that I may very well be using in my um, J and C Fall 22 journal. And then these lilies are so pretty. And I think I'll make another devotional journal and I think I'm gonna call it Consider the Lilies. I made another devotional journal before and I'll link that below so you can see it. And I got these two packs of buttons. This, these were 50 cents. And they're just, they're very fun. I don't know if they're wood or not, but they look like wood. Wooden flowers. And then these are my college colors. And I'm probably going to sew them onto my clear bag that I take into the stadium and into the basketball arena. Let's keep going with this. I got all of these die cut, die, dies, cutting dies. There we go. For $3.24. And I really like this. And it's the two pieces. It's got a solid piece behind and then the open work piece here. I thought that was pretty. This was $4.99 and it's got poppies and daisies and different leaves. I got some coffee die cuts. And these are the ones that you stack up. They end up being like, I don't know, three or four layers thick by the time you get done. But they're very cool. And I like this die. It's just the bubbles on the background. And I could just see all kinds of things happening in the bigger bubbles. And then the, the, the smaller bubbles being filled with uh, liquid pearls or different things. And then I also got this one. These are roses. And it's actually just these two plates. And you cut them out. You stack one on top of the other. And that's what you get. No small parts to mess with if you don't want to. All right, now we're going to get into a little bit of fabric and a whole lot of ribbon. Isn't this cute? I thought this was so cute. And I don't need a whole lot of it. But can't you just see that being a spring journal cover? Or flips? Or whatever you want to make with it. I love it. I love it. It's gorgeous. And also... This is faux leather wide ribbon, and it is eight inches this way, and then 24 inches, so two feet the other way, for $1.24, and it feels really nice, and that's gonna be a great journal cover. I went crazy in the ribbon section, I think. I've got these ribbons that remind me of ticking. Very, very cute. I got some wide ribbons, one in some Christmas colors, and then this one that is tulle. Let's see if I can open this. Yep. It's daisies printed on tulle. And I have a daisy journal that I will be working on soon. This one is a four roll, and it wasn't on clearance, but all of their fall craft items were 50% off, so it was $2.50, and I got these four colors here, and they're just, they're gorgeous. I like them a lot. Let's see. I got these ribbons. These, I think, go together really well, and they're 74 cents, and I think that they were meant to be together because they're perfect together. And then these two, this one's just a brown grow, grow grain, but it's a color that I don't have. It's kind of a grayish. Is that, it's kind of a gray brown. And then this, I have some in a different color that I really like. It, uh, it is ruffled on the sides. There we go. Can you see that? And it's got a matte finish in the middle and it's shiny on the edges. 
I think that is just really pretty. Don't worry about that that end coming off because I'm going to put them onto a different storage system anyway because that I store my ribbons differently. And I'll save this because it's still useful. And then I got two trims. I got this really pretty golden autumny color. And one thing that I tend to forget is that after you sew that on, this part on to your fabric or your curtain or whatever it is you're doing, you take this part off and these become little fringes, little tassel -y fringes. And I think that these are just really pretty when they are used on journals. And then the last ribbon that I got was this fun one. Look at that. And I think, look at this. Um, didn't even plan it this way, but look. That is perfect. I almost want to make a little girl's dress. But I'm not. <laughs> I will save that for a journal. All right, and then the last two things that I got, you may again find a little odd. Whoops, I missed a ribbon. I got a brown ribbon too. <laughs> is this a door, drawer, drawer pull knob? It's a knob. There we go. And this is the color my kitchen is, is this blue right here. So I'm thinking that I may make a box to hold some things that I tend to keep on the counter, but don't necessarily look good on the counter. So I may make a pretty box to put in there and use this for the handle lid the lid handle <laughs> and then I got this pull as well it's very pretty copper but that's not what I got it for that is going to be a beautiful stamp for wax seals so look for door knobs drawer knobs or whatever pulls that have a flat mostly flat surface and some kind of design that you really like and they make really good wax seal stamps so there we go i had fun found more than i thought i was going to spent a little more than i was going to but i still think it was thrifty because everything was like 70 percent off at least and i got my fun foam what was your favorite of my finds and what was your favorite find that you got this week? Share with me in the comments. Thank you for joining me today and as always, be kind. Bye.